Hello chess friends and welcome to Yazar of Chess Channel and welcome to a beautiful and spectacular game that I found the official and beautiful computer chess rating list website, the popular CCRL. We have here Stockfish against Ethereal in an amazing Karokan defense chess game and I found this game because first of all what I did, I downloaded all of the PGNs that have been played in AI chess uh, in the Karokan defense because I wanted to have a good preparation with the white pieces against the Karokan defense. I found really an interesting approach by Stockfish, I think this could be useful to you because it's a little bit different how uh, Stockfish will play now the game against the Karokan defense, really, really different approach, has been played also in top GM level, but maybe as a surprise weapon you can use now this game as your cornerstone in your preparation against uh, the unpleasant Karokan defense. We have to say the Karokan defense is really popular also among beginners, also in the intermediate level of chess, also in top GM level of chess, I think we have seen the Karokan defense uh, played by Magnus Carlsen, Alireza Firuja, by all of these beautiful top GMs that would have to follow, of course. So, let's see now the game, as I said, really, really useful game here by Stockfish with the white pieces, the fish open with wolf e4, we have a c6 by the serial chess engine, the Karokan defense, we have now the move knight to f3, rather than to go into normal structures with the move d4, Stockfish first of all plays now the move knight to f3, we have d5 by Ethereal, and now very interesting choice uh, here by Stockfish d3. What should black do? If black goes maybe with um, e takes, uh, d takes e4, then we have this one, d takes e4, and after a couple of trades of queens, I'm not saying this is wrong or something for black, but black has again a tough time to develop the pieces, because you can maybe try something like, I don't know, bishop to g4, then we play bishop to e2, you attack maybe the pawn, then we play knight from f to d2, this would be then the best continuation for white, as for bishop to e2, king to e2, the problem I think, after knight to d7 and knight to c4, the problem is now, uh, that when we place now the knight on c4, black will have a huge, huge hole um, in the position after pushing the pawn to e6 or maybe to uh, uh, the pawn to e5. Then we play knight to c4, bishop to f4 if possible, or bishop to e3, rook to d1, and then simply attacking the d6 weakness. So it's always, always a problem to uh, to control the dark squares that you have, dark square problems that you have provoked by pushing the pawn in, uh, to c6 in the first place. So I'm not saying, as I said, this is something wrong uh, for, for black, but uh, I would try to avoid it. I would try to be more flexible with the black pieces against this types of position. So that's why I have to move d3. The serial engine plays, first of all, bishop to g4. is pinning the knight and is, of course, trying uh, to lock then the position on light squares with the move e6. You don't want to play e6 in the first place because then you simply blocked all, block out your light square bishop out of game so the light square bishop couldn't have then a good activity. So first the bishop out and then locking the position with the move e6. Stockfish continues with h3. Now suddenly the life of bishop of blacks becomes an object of the attack of whites it's many many times uh, i have seen it uh, when the bishop comes on g4 then we simply push it further and of course create spaces on the king's side. bishop to h5 queen to e2 stockfish gets finally out of this uh positional mess so tr uh, tries of course to avoid now uh, finally the trades of queens we have e6 by ethereal we have now the move g4 bishop to g6 and now immediately here h4 by stockfish trying of course in some lines even trap to bishop so that's why h6 or h5 are the most uh, most common now approaches here by black. What should black do? Probably the best way here is to proceed with the move h5. But still, it gets very complicated after knight to e5. You have to retreat, then we play g5. For instance, there is a beautiful game play play between Biho against Alireza Firuja, in which uh, Alireza, uh, Alireza Firuja got a little bit um, surprised, I think, also by this line, lost the game with the black piece against Biho. So here, uh, with the move knight to e5, we're preparing also to break and enter immediately with the move g6. If you play g6 yourself, uh, then you're locking out further the likes with bishop so messy position as i said but it's playable also for black but you have to know of course where it is going uh, where the game is going to so you have to be really then familiar with this types of position so after move h4 here is here play the move h6 stockfish advances the pawn further uh, kicks away the bishop to h7 and now comes also a small devia deviation between human chess and also ai chess because um, there is there are um, many approaches that you can do, but in top GM level, only G5 has been played so far. For instance, there is a game played by Aronian against Artemiev, in, in which Aronian immediately 
strike here uh, on the king side with, with move g5. Uh, here after h takes g5 that Artemiev played uh, here um, Aronian continued with the move knight to g5. Bishop to e7 was played f4 so still you see a very very complicated game. But Stockfish keeps it a little bit more simple which is I think a huge surprise. Stockfish plays an interesting choice which is really really crazy. He plays now a beautiful knight to c3. It's quite a provocative move I would say because Stockfish has now advanced the pawns, has of course created many many spaces here on the king side but ha we have to say it, Stockfish has also weaknesses on the king side so what Stockfish is trying to do with the move knight to c3 here is somehow to keep the position locked in the center of the board because if the position now explodes somehow in the center of the board then black should be even maybe slightly better because you have provoked as i said many weaknesses here so these are of course clear targets now for black to attack white's position so that's why with the move knight to c3 as i said it's a provocative move stockfish forces basically here a heal to make a move here in the center of the board but now after move knight to b1 uh that's a of course a loss of a tempo for white but stockfish secured now really a blocked out position here in the center of the board now nothing can happen in the center which is a good thing for white because as i said already we have many many weaknesses here so with this idea stockfish uh, kept it really really positional in the continuation of the game we have now the move c5 is here is trying now to play b5 c4 stockfish is preventing that by playing first of all the move knight to d2 if you play here uh, b5 immediately then we strike with uh, with a4 and then it could be again very very messy if you play a4 then you try maybe something like b5 and uh, b4 here and then we play knight to c4 we have the perfect square for a knight we play b3 and fix everything on life work so after knight from b to d2 here knight to e7 was played by ethereal we have knight um, a4 preparing again the move knight to c4 knight to d7 by ethereal and now knight to c4 knight to c6 and finally now only now when the position in the center is secured stockfish strikes now uh here on the king side with the move g5 we have knight to b6 b3 knight takes c4 b takes c4 so you see stockfish keeps the healthy structure here in the center of the board and it's not allowing any counter play in the center and it's also with this idea uh b takes c4 opening up the b file so there's also now the clear target the weak pawn on b7 we have queen to d7 uh g takes h6 g takes h6 and you see slowly but surely stockfish is getting somewhere there are now again new weaknesses in the position g5 weak f6 weak e5 weak many many obvious targets here uh, in black's camp after move g takes h6 stockfish continues with the move bishop to f4 it's not allowing now black to play now the move e5 we have f6 by ethereal and now very interesting move again by stockfish stockfish paralyzes now both basically both sides with the move a5 but also with the move h5 so here with uh, with both of these pawns on on, on the flanks here is here is a little bit pushed pushed away so really interesting position chess here by stockfish after move a5 what should black do you could try maybe e5 but then you risk this one bishop to h3 would come then in a spectacular way into the game you have also then trouble to where to castle the king is then a little bit vulnerable on life score so that's why e5 so far is not working so that's why here after move a5 a6 was played by ethereal and now e5 by stockfish stockfish is not allowing in any lines this move by black it's not allowing here uh also black to keep now the position in the center lock stockfish has now clear targets as i said many many weaknesses is that he could attack on this side of the board queen to c7 we have bishop to g2 queen side casting and now rook to h3 very important move because stockfish noticed of course maybe the possibility of rook to g8 covered now everything with rook to g3 we have knight to b4 by ethereal good move also to attack the pawn on c2 and now stockfish plays an interesting king to f1 although it seems so that the position is strained here by white I'm still not seeing good ways how he's going black to attack the position now on the king side because here on this side of the board I think white has a much much better activity he has also many pieces here all of this position could be attacked maybe through the e file but still it's very risky look at the queen is a little bit loose this bishop is very dangerous this bishop is dangerous so simply much much better activity so far by white pieces we have f5 now ethereal is somehow trying to uh, to keep the position locked also on the king side and stockfish continues with queen to d2 forces now after rook to g3 after g3 the queen to retreat here to g7 so you see with simple threats with simple ideas stockfish keeps now 
uh, here black a little bit on the defensive side, which is, I think, how we should play chess. Sometimes chess doesn't have to be complicated with simple threats, as I said, with simple attacks. Always, always keep our at uh, uh, attention, uh, keeping our really, really um, progressive ideas, because black has to always now defend at least once one uh, simple threat. So good, good here, progressive chess, as I said, by Stallfish 16. King to F2, keeping everything glued together and compact here around the score. G3, Bishop to G8, and now Knight to h4 stockfish is targeting a new weakness in the position tries of course to play knight to g6 maybe grabbing the bishop on f8 and then finally picking up uh, the pawn on h6 we have bishop to uh, f7 bishop to f3 bishop to e8 and now rook to g1 stockfish changes now uh, the whole direction is trying now to break and enter uh, here with the move g4 and that's now the most progressive plan we have king to b8 g4 immediately by the fish good move f takes g4 rook comes in a beautiful way into the game rook to g4 queen to h7 still ethereal has to protect this weak pawn on h6 usually it would not be maybe a problem if you lose just one pawn because we have to say it white king is always endangered in some potential lines but if you lose this pawn on h6 then the h5 pawn is very advanced that's now the most important thing so you see with the move knight to g6 stockfish also secures now the position around the square h5 because this was also target in 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 black's attack after move knight to g6 we have bishop to c6 queen to e2 what should black do again? Let's see if uh, bishop to f3 happens. If bishop to f3 happens, then we have queen to f3. And even if you pick up now the pawn, the issue is this one. We will simply attack the Lewis bishop on f8. You have to play maybe something like bishop to e7. We simply double up on the f file. Look at this. You play bishop to g5, rook to uh, f7, and the game is over here for black. It's a tactic that I think should be always considered here. Very, very interesting moves here by Stockfish because after queen to e2, it seems, so, as I said, that the pawn on c2 is vulnerable, but actually you're getting here destroyed simply by the huge attack on the f file. Not working here for black to pick up so far the bishop and then uh, to pick up the uh, pawn on c2 so that's why queen to c7 uh played by ethereal maybe in some lines also trying to attack uh, this pawn and maybe take it out going with with the queen behind and also picking up then afterwards the pawn on c2 but stockfish is not allowing that again with progressive play bishop to g3 beautiful move let's see again what happens if you play bishop to f3 if you play bishop to f3 queen to f3 you're trying maybe to pick up this pawn on a5 but then look at this but the bishop on f8 is hanging if you play here queen to a5 immediately instead of bishop to f3 then we play bishop to h4 attacking simply uh, the rook the rook has to step back somewhere and then again with rook to f4 we attack the bishop you have to play i don't know maybe something like bishop to g7 and now the rook is coming again on this beautiful f7 square look at this you're trying maybe bishop to h8 then we attack again the, the bishop and the, the bishop is actually trapped even here so this is not working you can try maybe look at this queen to a2 we take it out bishop to f3 king to f3 no even checks are possible here by black we simply get out of this mess and the knight is controlling the f8 square so after bishop to g3 there's always the problem of uh, the attack by white on the seventh rank so that's why um, here ethereal cannot go just for the pawns it's not working so far in black's attack after uh, bishop to g3 we have bishop to g7 by ethereal we have rook to f4 again with the preparation to play rook to f7 king to a8 bishop to h4 hitting the rook again a beautiful simple threat but it keeps of course black occupied it keeps again black on the defensive side we have rook to d7 bishop to g4 hitting the pawn we have rook to uh, f7 and now rook takes f7 queen to f7 king to g1 now uh, queen to uh, c7 so far bishop to e6 would be very risky because now actually queen to a5 could work we can play bishop to f6 still playable probably for white but uh, here Stockfish didn't risk anything played now a beautiful queen to f2 again with the same plan just to include the queen uh, into the attack here on the seventh or maybe on the eighth rank whatever black is allowing here after queen to f2 we have bishop to a4 here by zero going in a different way for the uh, c2 pawn but Stockfish doesn't care plays now beautiful bishop to e6 we have bishop to c2 bishop to g3 also trying to liberate now uh, the uh, the path for the pawn and simply pushing uh, the pawn on the e5. We have uh, bishop to d3. You cannot, of course, play knight to d3 because then the bishop would be lost. So that's why bishop to d3. Uh, here, ethereal fights back, but now bishop to g4. Simply, as I said, clearing the path now uh, for the pawn on the e5. Knight to c6. Here we have uh, e6. The queen has to step back, and now, as promised, queen to f7. 
that was the plan in the first place. Really, really beautiful progressive play again by the Stockfish. We have bishop to f6, uh, the bishop was under fire, and now bishop to c7. Stockfish keeps again the attacking flow. Good move here. Queen to c8, bishop to b6. Also in some lines, if possible, threatening some checkmates. Now the uh, bishop is controlling the AF, uh, a7 square, so if you don't play um, with care, then of course you could uh, get even checkmated in some lines, of course, so far not possible. Queen to b8 by Ethereal. Stockfish played king to g2. Bishop to g6. We have now queen to f6. Uh, here, after a couple of trades of pieces, nothing dramatically changed because after bishop to c5, Stockfish still has this beautiful pawn on the e file and is, in my opinion, having here completely, completely winning endgame. After bishop to c5, knight to e5, Stockfish retreats. Knight to c4. Doesn't matter because Stockfish simply grabbed another pawn and has now uh, here a clear situation with this pawn on the e file. What should black do? If you play bishop to c6 actually white can even go into further trades of pawns uh, bishops here because you can even pick up now this one but now again we simply push the pawn further you can always deliver a couple of checks but now you're running out of good checks and now queen to f8 with the promotion is here uh, completely completely winning here for white so you see black cannot even simplify the game usually you would love to do that but it's not working so far uh, for black after bishop to d4 we have knight to d2 uh, stockfish is again trying to reach the fully end game stage and after queen to c8 we have king to h2 knight to f1 a check nothing spectacular king to d1 knight to d2 king to h2 knight to c4 and here after queen to c5 uh, queen to c5 bishop to c5 was played here as i said still nothing nothing that can be done here for black because this pawn is now on the dark square will be simply taking and the position for the light square bishop is simply too stretched to put the pass pawns on on in the center of the board and on the king side are simply unstoppable for a bishop we have knight takes a5 bishop to f8 and after knight to c6 bishop to h6 in this particular position it was probably game over look at this e knight to d4 e7 by the fish b5 by ethereum but now after king to h3 uh here what should black do we have b4 we have king to g4 b3 you can push but now look at this with simple bishop to c1 this position is stoppable you cannot move the pawn further and now after something i don't know knight to c6 we can even play bishop to f3 so in this particular position the serial engine resigned what's the problem you can of course play king to b7 but then with this one bishop to uh, c6 uh, king to c6 uh, we simply push the pawn further as i said the position is simply too stretched for one bishop which is simply push now this one you pick up now this one we can pick up the queen and this would be of course game over and then here for for black so great great game here by stockfish i think it was quite a spectacular way to play against the katokan defense really instructive way a little bit different than to play this main lines really, really interesting approach has been played also in a beautiful game played by Giri against Nepomniachi. So it's playable, as I said, to play this knight to f3 in the beginning. Maybe it was um, a little bit too positional for our taste because Stockfish is used to play more aggressive chess. But this was, I think, really, really a nice positional game where Stockfish occupied the weak squares, simply improved always the position of the minor pieces, made progress with simple threats. Really, really instructive game here by Stockfish 16. So, okay, I hope that you enjoyed this game. I really, really enjoyed it a lot. Interesting ideas of the Karokan defense. If you want to see more Karokan uh, defense chess games here on my YouTube chess channel, here's the link of our playlist. And and if you want to see more AI chess games, here's also the link of our playlist. You can check it out. And if you like this content, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you soon with some more videos. And what do we say? Chess is the best, of course.